Today we are here at the Wynwood Walls and the Wynwood Kitchen and Bar. We've invited the children of Le Petit Papillon. We've brought them here to experience art, to experience music, to experience food. Which wall? I don't see anyone. Do you see anyone over there? They're behind you. Oh, these are walls? Yeah, yeah they're walls, they're right. And they used to be. The beauty of the Montessori method, and Petit Papillon in particular, is they take the learning experience and they bring it outside of your classroom and they make it a real tactile experience. What do you think? What words come to mind when you see this piece? Beauty. Okay. Okay. This was an opportunity to put them in an environment that's like bigger than life. To think big and to think creatively and how does it make you feel? Happiness. And so you've got these enormous murals. Do you have a painting like this big in your house? No. <laughs> I don't think so. that did this wall, Nunca, he uses all the paint that he did on this wall was done with spray paint. I see a clown. I see a clown. Where? There. Oh, I see a clown. Oh, I see a clown. They used a jackhammer and they chipped away at the wall. One of the things that we really wanted to do was inspire them with other artists and not just talk at them. What does he look like he's standing on? Down. On the rock, right? But How make cool them experience that? it hands on. You know what collaboration is? When people work together, is that? Yes. They help each other, that's it. Boom. We've got something very special for you guys. We a have later on uh, Nestor Torres, a okay. uh, world renowned flautist, and we asked him to interpret the art with his music. Kind of like the Pied Piper experience. from my homeland of Puerto Rico. Some of them are really gifted painters. Some of them are gifted sketch artists. Some of them are gifted singers and dancers. I'm Chef Miguel Aguilar, and we're here at the awesome Wynwood Kitchen and Bar. We modify the menu a little bit. How's our lunch? You know, every kid loves their fries, so instead of doing potato, we went with our version, which is a polenta fry. Chips and salsa, but we do our version, which is pico verde. It's made with tomatillo. We're also serving them flash fried bok choy with a little uh, garlic soy sauce. For dessert, we're doing different flavors of sorbet topped with uh, mixed berries. Very kid friendly, great for this nice hot day. I mixed it all up and now I'm going to smush all the berries and the strawberries. Me too. Yum, here with the kids having a great time for teaching me how to paint today. We have the artist Shai Moreno who's a really outstanding artist and he is showing the children 
how to paint. And then I'm going to draw an eye on your canvases and you guys are going to color the eyes and around the eyes. He is incorporating his work with their work. Oh, what this is called. Each group of children has a, a canvas and it's interesting to see how they direct their own canvas and how they work together to come up with a theme and a name. You want to make pink? What colors they want to use and see how they can work together. Guys, you have to rinse your brushes. You have to dry it. Oh. Do I look like an artist? Yes, you do. It doesn't matter, guys. We're making it beautiful. Yeah! A mystery eyeball! Yeah, the mystery, yeah, the mystery eyeball! eyeball. Their, yeah. their eye was a masterpiece. Oh my god, look at ours! Okay, that's looking pretty good there. That's looking very good. There's no boundaries when it comes to, you know, creativity, being a collective and sharing materials together, and it's been a wonderful experience. Children are sponges. It's our job as adults to open up the world to inspiration. And so today was a day about inspiration.